Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be one of my most requested videos I've ever had in a video, ever. Like you guys requested this look in my haul video, my most recent video, so much. Like I don't think I've ever gotten requested for a video so much in my whole life in a makeup. So I figured I would do it for you guys because you guys were like, please do it, bitch, do it. I don't think I've ever done a prom look. So I figured, you know what, let's do a prom look. Let's make it prom-y because I feel like this is a very pretty appropriate kind of prom look, you know? That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling that, I don't know if you're feeling that, but I'm feeling that. I think it's prom-y. Prom. So if you guys don't like this kind of video, if you guys don't like watching a boy put on makeup, don't fucking watch it. But if you do subscribe, <laughs> do that too. It's funny because this look has a story to it. I uploaded the video and then Jacqueline texted me and she was like, what are you wearing on your eyes? Tell me right now. Like, so I like listed the products that I used and she's like, oh, so my everyday look, cool. And I was like, really? Like, it's your everyday look? She's like, no, Manny, like, I don't think you understand. Like, I wear that look almost every single day. And she sent me photos of her in this exact look. She's like, not only is it the same look, we're wearing the same exact shadows. Like this, like that is me. On your eyes, it's me. And I'm like, oh my god, it's me too. This is me. So I just think it's funny because me and Jacqueline, like, we have a very similar aesthetic. And we love both love, like, that warm tone, like, to the eyes and things like that. So I just thought it was super, super, super funny that she texted me that. And so, Jacqueline, if you're watching this, shout out to you for texting me. That <laughs> We have the same exact eye look on. I don't know what else to say besides let's get to the tutorial. This prom, beautiful prom look. Bye, you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Let's go ahead and start this bad boy with a clean face. I just showered, washed my face, and moisturized, so she's clean for now. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go in with the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizers. I've been loving these bitches lately. So what we're going to do, I'm going to actually go in with two. I'm going to use the base mattifying for the T-zone. The reason I'm using it for the T-zone specifically and not like everyone on my face is because this bitch, when it says mattifying, my gosh, that's all I need. That's all I need. Like, this thing dried my fucking areas that I needed to be dry. Like, it was disgustingly crazy. So I'm just gonna put it in the T-zone, in the areas that I usually get oily, okay? I, think, I swear, like, as soon as I put it on, like, even now, <laughs> by moisture, like, it's gone. Then I'm gonna go in with the step one base smoothing all over the rest of my face. Just because I do want to have primer um, throughout the rest of my face, and this one is really great for kind of texture and things like that. So for foundation, what I'm going to go in with is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is like my tried and true foundation. This one dries to a demi matte finish. It stays on my face all day. It gives me like full coverage. I love this foundation. I'm in shade 1W2 Sand, and I'm going to use it with a damp beauty blender over this fucking pimple right here, because that shit is huge. So now we're going to go in with our damp beauty blender, and just really press the foundation in all over the face. There we go, and we're nice and full coverage. Damn, we are full coverage, huh? So now we're gonna go ahead and grab the MAC Pro Longer Concealer in NW20, and we're gonna put that in the under eye areas. This one's brand new, <laughs> so I need to like, come on, bitch, come out. And I love this concealer, it's beautiful. Not only is it gonna highlight me, it's gonna really help cover the darkness I have underneath my eyes. Not that I have a, a shit ton, I don't have a shit ton of like darkness, but she does have some, some. And I'm just gonna use that beauty blender to really help blend it out more. I look like a little ghost, but it's fine. It'll all come together. Together. Now, we're gonna go in with the Smashbox contouring thing. When I did my haul video, I, a lot of people were like, oh my god, you have to use the contour sticks in that video. So I was like, you know what, okay. I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna go ahead and use the highlighting one for the under eye area. The shitty thing about the highlight one is that I feel like it doesn't highlight me enough. Like, I just don't feel like that's a lot of highlight, you know? But you know, it's still beautiful. It still highlights. It just doesn't highlight as much as I wish it did. Put that on the forehead as well. T-zone. And then we're gonna blend that out with the beauty blender as well again. These contour sticks are so blendable, it's not even funny. Oh my gosh, they're so blendable, it makes me sick. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the bronze contour stick. The reason I'm putting a base down first is because, you know, we're going to probably want to stay on as long as we possibly can. At least I do. I know I do. And so I think having a base down first will really help the longevity. And then we're just going to kind of take the beauty blender and buff that in. Like they're blending out so easily. It just makes me so happy and so good. Tell me that it's not gorgeous. Okay, cool. So this is what it looks like with just the bronze stick on. I think it looks super pretty. We're starting to look a little more bronzy and kind of glowy and giving us dimension when I don't look like such a ghost. And now we're going to go in with the contour stick. And this one we're going to be a little bit more precise with the stick. And we're going to just do it right by the top of the ear. And that's all we're going to do. And then we're going to blend it out. I don't want to be too hard with this one because this one has much more of a gray tone to it than the bronzy one does. The lighter with this one, I think the better. And I'm going to go ahead and use my G3 from Morphe to really just kind of help blend that in. I'm just gonna kind of go in with that beauty blender and just kind of press over it just to give us a little diffusion. Yes, diffused. Do the same thing on the forehead. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Laura Mercier <laughs> setting powder. Okay, seriously, this powder it ended up being life. It really fucking is, dude. It's so good. It kept me matte throughout the day. 
Um, it gives me a beautiful like airbrush finish. I just love it. So we're just gonna go in. I'm really just pressing on the powder over our face. Underneath our eye too, you cannot forget that because you will crease like a creasing monster. And don't forget your lids too because we did use the concealer as our base. And now we're just gonna grab a big fluffy brush, just dust away any extra powder that might be there. We're going to finish our face with the Kat Von D shade and light palette because I love this bad boy so much. We're gonna grab the highlight middle shade right here on a Morphe M438, it's like my highlighting brush of life. And we're just gonna really just press that in on top of the highlighted areas where we put the Smashbox contour stick in the T-zone as well. And then, you know, for shits and giggles, let's go ahead and put in MAC Emphasize Highlighting Sculpting Powder. Just a little bit, just to brighten it even more. We really don't need to do this step, but you know I'm a big ass drag queen at heart, so let's do that shit. I hate that I feel like I have to be quiet because people are like in my house, like there's like workers and shit, and I'm like, I'm not gonna be quiet. I don't even care. We're gonna continue with the shade light palette. We're gonna grab Subconscious with the Makeup Geek Grounded Blush Brush. I use this brush all the time for contouring. I just feel like it's perfect, it's precise, it's easy. Towards the back of our ear, and just use that as our contouring shade and just kind of buff it in. We're not doing anything too precise. And this is just really gonna ensure that we have it on a lot longer throughout the night. Or, I mean, we're going to prom for goodness sakes. Like, I'm not about to be down on the dance floor and my contour's melting off. Like, <laughs> sweetheart, who has time? Not me. Shit. Cup those cheekbones, ya bish. So now that we have our contour and highlight done, we're gonna go in with some blush. I'm gonna take Makeup Geeks. Where are you? I think it's Spellbound because it's literally... Spellbound Makeup Geek Blush, which is the perfect peachy pink. I think it's so beautiful. And we're gonna grab that on a Morphe M500, which is a big fluffy brush. I don't wanna go too ham with the blush, so that's why I'm grabbing a big fluffy brush like this. Oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> I forgot how much I love Spellbound. Oh my god. And then we're gonna go ahead and highlight. We're gonna use the Makeup Pro Sculpting Duo in the shade 2. <laughs> this is seriously so beautiful, like I die. Like, I really die. So we're gonna actually just grab the highlight shade. Um, the bronzing shade, I feel like, is a little bit just too warm for me. It's a little bit too orange, and don't get me wrong, I love warm bronzers, and I love warm, like, uh, contouring colors. I really do, but, I mean, I can only go so far before I turn orange. Like, I just can't. I can't do it. I'm taking the Morphe 501, and I'm really loading that bitch up with that gold. That. Oh, that makes me wet. I mean, not really, but, like, kind of. Like, it looks like I look wet. You know? <laughs> So now that we have the base of our face done, like the foundation part, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Kat Von D Lock and Load Makeup Setting Mist. I love this stuff. I'm just gonna use it right now because I feel like I just need a little refresher. It, has, like, it smells like cucumber. It's so, like, go into Sephora, spray this shit on your face, and tell me it doesn't smell like cucumber water. You can't, because it smells like that. I love this shit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera because I feel like it takes a little while. I can definitely do a brow routine video if you guys are interested in that, but I'm just gonna do it off camera real quick because I feel like it's just gonna waste some time. So I'll be right back. Okay, cool, so we have the brows on. I don't know why I've been feeling like I want to go more fleek lately. I just feel like a strong, I just feel like doing strong brows right now. I don't know what it is. I just do. Maybe because I can do this. And usually bitches don't fuck me when I do this. Excuse me? What? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and start our eyes. So I'm gonna try my very best to recreate this look. I do not remember exactly every single color that I used, but I grabbed colors I think I'm pretty sure I used. So this is what I have. <laughs> so please wish me luck on this. I know you guys do because you guys want it. <laughs> I figured I'd go ahead and zoom you guys in because I really want you guys to really focus on the eyes because this eyes look is a little bit more, it's not hard to do, but there's some steps. There's a couple steps to it. So I figure it'd be a lot easier for me to zoom you guys in. First, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek. You guys know it's my favorite transition shade of all time. And I'm gonna take that on a Sigma E40 blending brush and we're gonna just toss that into the crease. This is our transition shade, so you don't need to be too neat with it. I just got a new Sigma E40, so I'm just like, mm. And then I'm gonna go ahead and actually take a Sigma E55, which is basically a flat shader brush. All my Morphe brushes are dirty, you guys, I'm sorry. Forgive me, but they're all dirty right now. Um, and I'm taking the Anastasia Bling eyeshadow. And now I'm just gonna put that on my brow bone as my highlight. I already have like some concealer down there that I used to clean up my brow, so we're just gonna really help set that ish in motion. What am I saying? I have no idea. And then we're gonna actually go in with Poppy by Make a Peek as well. And we're just gonna take a very small amount of it. And that we're gonna toss into the crease with that same E40. This is really gonna give us that warmth. We should have something like this. It's a nice, warm transition shade. We're gonna go in with Mocha on a Morphe M433. I cleaned this one in time. Mocha by Makeup Geek. And now we're just gonna kind of focus on the outer corner. 
press it into the outer corner to the crease a little bit. We're really gonna run that into the crease about halfway into our eye. And then we're gonna go in with that E40 and just blend that away. It's really crucial to go in with the steps and just continue to blend with an E40 or any kind of big fluffy brush. I think it's really, really, really important. So now everything's kind of blended and transitioned. Now we're gonna go in with that same M433 with Makeup Geek Corrupt. Just a very tiny amount of it because it's very pigmented, you don't need a lot. And now we're just gonna concentrate on the outer corner and slightly bringing it upwards into that poppy. Not nearly as far as Mocha though. And then same thing, go in with that E40 and blend out the black. I'm actually going to go with an E30 pencil brush by Sigma because I really want to really concentrate that black. Blend like it's your job. Like you getting paid to blend. There we go. And so now we're going with the fun part, the lid color. <laughs> so we're going to go in with a, a flat, dense packing brush. I'm going to use the Sigma F70, which is a dense packing brush. I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Grand Stand Eyeshadow. This color is literally life. Like, actually, literally life. And we're really just pressing that on right up to the transition shades in my crease. I want that shit real bright. So actually, I'm, I'm going to go with my finger and take Grand Stand on my finger and press that onto the lid. I really want it to be shiny, even more shiny. These shadows are really great with your fingers because they give you this nice foil intensity. Like that. Yeah. Then I'm gonna take a Morphe 326 and uh, In the Spotlight by Makeup Geek. And now we're gonna place on our inner corner as our highlight. This shit highlights like a motherfucker. And dog. So this is what the top of the lid looks like. I think it looks so pretty, oh my god. <laughs> yes, I'll go to prom with you, yes. Yeah, of course. So now we're going to take Mocha and mix it in with Beaches and Cream, and we're going to take a Morphe M508. Just a very tiny, amazing brush like getting underneath the lash line. And then, we're going to blend that out a little bit. And then we're going to grab Mr. Right Now <laughs> Dean pencil by um, The Bomb, which I've used before on my channel. I just really like it. And then I'll just kind of blend out whatever is left underneath my waterline. I'll just kind of blend that out. Looks something like that. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna go finish all that really quickly off camera. My laptop's about to die, so we can go finish that shit real quick, and I'll be right back. <laughs> and now we have both eyes completely done without the lashes and shit. So now we're just going to put some mascara on. I'm gonna use the Benefit Royal Lash Mascara. I've been really obsessing over this mascara recently. I used it for the first time in my one brand tutorial of Benefit Cosmetics, and I used it like this way, but one of my followers told me to use it like with the groovy part pointing down. So I've done that, and it really that makes a huge difference. It really does like extend my lashes so much. I love this mascara. I love it. Okay, so now that we have our mascara on, we're gonna go in with Blinking Butte Lashes in the style. Samantha, which was created with Samantha from Badalash. Um, if you guys don't know who she is, like please look her up. She's freaking so sick and they created a lash together and they're beautiful. Oh! These are the ones I was wearing in that video. Um, I have a code with Blinking Beauty Lashes, so you do get a safe 10% off if you, if you guys are interested. Oh, they're so beautiful. I love them so much. And I'm just using a Mink Wink Lash Applicator. It's super, super cute and efficient. Oh, yes. We got one on. Tell me these lashes are not giving it to you, like, hard. Lashes are on and they is popping, bitch. Yes. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in what they look like. And those were the eyes. So now we're gonna go and do the lips. My favorite part, you guys know it's my favorite part of all I know. We're gonna go in with NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner. Um, I believe that they are in stock right now. Uh, I've been getting so many tweets and stuff like that about like how you guys cannot find NYX Peekaboo Neutral, and I'm sorry. I, I use this bitch so much. It's so funny because one of my followers in Texas, I think her name is Eileen. I could be wrong. Like she found a NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner. She ended up giving me 11 of them. So I'm like so set with NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner. So thank you to Eileen for giving me those lip liners. I really appreciate it. Like I was on my last leg of lip liners. NYX was sold out for so long. Like they were sold out for so freaking long. And I was just like, dude, how am I gonna get my lip liner of like, tell me. And I'm gonna fill about halfway the lip in with the lip liner. Like so. I look like a Jonita right now, but it's fine. Now we're gonna go in with Kimchi Doll Lipstick by Gerard Cosmetics, which was made with Sophia Chang. Again, congrats, it's so beautiful. Um, By the way, just letting you guys know, um, this is a very, 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 very light color without a lip liner. I think it looks like too light. A lot of people will not be able to pull it off without a lip liner. I'm just letting you guys know right now, it is so light. So use a lip liner with it, trust me, trust me. Oh, it's so beautiful. Very light peachy pink satin color, and I think it's so beautiful and I think it really goes well with this look because I feel like this look the eyes are like what's catching the attention of the peeps so you want to keep the lip much more subdued and just really pretty and nude and very like Kim Kardashian you know 
Okay, but for those of you who are not interested in doing a very light nude pink, let's go ahead and do another lip option as well. Damn, I need to exfoliate my lips right now because they are so bad. The fuck? And so the second option I think that would go really great with this eye look is Berry Smoothie by Jar Cosmetics. It's a another color that they just launched. It's not it was not a collab with anyone, but it's a beautiful, rosy, warm pink. And I think it's stunning. And this is Berry Smoothie if you're into much more of a Still very neutral pink, and you don't want to go so nude, but you still want something on your lips that's really pretty. It's like your own lip color, but prettier kind of thing. This lip is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Trust me, I'm not trying to sell you guys on Gerard stuff because, I mean, they have lipsticks and they have glosses that I do not like personally, and so I don't really talk about them on my channel. So the ones I do talk about on my channel, you guys know, like, I wholeheartedly believe, and I love them so much. And yes, I'm an affiliate with them, and yes, I have codes with them. But I truly believe that they are great lipsticks. I really honestly do, and I really mean that to you guys. And that's why I'm talking about them, Kimchi Doll and Berry Smoothie. They just launched them, and I think they are so <laughs> beautiful. Oh my god, I'm like, I love this lip so much. Like, I love this lip. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I'll leave links and um, codes, things like that down below with these guys, okay? So yes, that was it for the final eye look, face look, and lip look. This is the whole look. So hopefully you guys liked it. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I am thinking about doing another prom look. Let me know what kind of colors and things like that you want me to use. This one's a much more of a warm tone eye. It's much more like focused on the eye, subdued on the lip. I can definitely do a like intense lip and more of a like subtle on the eye. Whatever you guys think, leave a comment down below and I will definitely try to get to it. You guys know I love reading your guys' comments and I love replying to you guys. I reply as much as I possibly humanly can because sometimes there's a lot. <laughs> But I love it. I don't care. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love you guys so much. Um, please feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, and stuff like that. Whatever you guys want to follow me on, I'll leave a link down below. Also, check the description down below because I take a lot of time into typing out the description down below because I have everything that I use in this video listed down below, as well as links to the products and codes, and just in case if you guys want to buy anything that you guys might be interested in, if you guys want to save some money. Yes, some of the things I am an affiliate with, and some of the codes I am an affiliate with too. If you guys don't like that, if you guys are not into the affiliate thing, I totally understand. Go ahead and just like open a new tab and like I guess search the things out yourself but um, I do have everything linked down below as well as ways to save you guys money so I would really of course appreciate it so much because you use my codes and things like that um, and links but if you can't I understand I totally understand I really do but I would appreciate if you did so yeah do it <laughs> but I'll talk to you guys all soon I love you guys so much cannot wait to see you guys in New York soon I'm at the babies in New York can't wait to see you guys I might be doing a meet and greet there so keep your eyes open and ears open for that shit have a great rest of the night or day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye. That's so gay. No, I can't do a kiss. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so annoying. <laughs> why are my lips so crusty right now? Why are they so crusty? Why don't you go and tell me why they're so crusty? Oh my god, I didn't want to grab that shadow. Oh my god, wrong one. Oof. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and go in. What just dropped? Oh my god, I almost didn't blend that part out. I feel like I'm hitting myself so hard. I'm like, <sighs> let's start again. Ow! Oh, 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 my toe. Oh, motherfucker. So first of the things that were, <laughs> I haven't recorded in like two weeks. I cannot speak. And then we're gonna blend that out with the beauty blender. What is what? Is what? <laughs> okay, cool. So first things were. Uh... <laughs> right. <laughs> I have a fucking bachelor's of science in health sciences and I can't figure out lighting. <laughs> cool. Uh, uh, other corner. Erin, shut up! <laughs>